So you guys are kind of done with uh, the first chunk of the season. Just what, what do you think you learned over the course of these, these first 21 games? Uh, a lot. Um, the, the NBA is a grind. I mean, you play 20, 20 or so games in college, you're getting ready to wrap up your season. So uh, the fact that we're nowhere near getting done is, you know, it's new to me playing that many games. And, uh, I mean, there's just there's just so much honestly that I've learned. Just trying to just trying to battle through all the adversity, ups and downs, and, and trying to stay consistent in my mind and, and be at peace. What's the biggest piece of advice you've gotten so far? Just kind of help you through it. Biggest piece of advice, man. There's a lot of good, a lot of lot of good nuggets just from DJ on the bench. You know, I sit next to him every game, so you know he's always in my ear, pointing things out, telling me things to watch and look out for, just so I understand the context of the game when I do get in, and uh, you know things like that. But you know, D DJ and Reggie have been, have been real vocal with me, and I, I appreciate that a lot. How would you describe DJ as a vet? Uh, <laughs> uh, he's like, I feel like when you think of what a vet is in the professional sport, DJ is like the perfect example of that, just with how vocal he is. You know, he's always cracking jokes. But, um, I mean, when, it, when it's time to be serious, he's, he's super serious, and he'll get on you. He's not afraid to, you know, voice his opinion and tell you what you're doing wrong. So, you know, as a young guy, that's what I'm looking for. Because, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying to make money. Make a name for myself and, and you know learn the game. So so it's huge. Is it, it kind of like getting a basketball PhD when you can sit next to DJ and learn much like that? Yeah, literally. Some of the things he points out are, are things that will go right over my head. So you know, just being able to notice that, and then when I get in the game and, and see that exact action that he pointed out to me, you know, being able to you know manipulate it or or navigate it, and you know, it's just huge for me because you know I, I don't get much practice time as a rookie. So um, you know, I kind of. Instead of making mistakes in practice, to kind of make those mistakes in games. So, you know, just avoiding as many of those as possible, uh, he's going to help us. Peyton went from defending uh, Kevin Durant against the Suns. He checks De'Aaron Fox against Sacramento. What, what have been your impressions of just, like, the versatility he's shown off over the last couple of weeks? Nah, he's, he's special. Just his length and, and the way he can manipulate shots. And then, obviously, as a shot blocker, I mean, it's huge. Uh, you know, he's just fearless, though. I feel like it's, it's his confidence and the way he carries himself is what makes him such a great defender because he backs down to nobody, you know. As soon as he checks in the game, he's looking for whoever whoever their main guy is without even hearing who coach wants him to guard. He's, you know, he's going straight to him, guard on full court. So I feel like he's just special in his confidence and his personality. Did you guys talk about Reggie facing the Clippers at all today or have you hyped him up at all? <laughs> nah, I actually haven't. So I'll probably bring that up when I, when I get down there. Uh, yeah, hopefully he could just pull out another special performance, but I wouldn't be shocked. I mean, he's playing great basketball right now. Did, did you know about the Sambor shuffle before you got here? Do you know what the Sambor shuffle is? Nah, and I I mean, I think it's just a little the fade joint off the wrong leg, but I, I had never heard of it until I got here. How would you describe it? What do you think when you see it? Um, The first couple times, or like even watching as a fan, you know, you see it on your Instagram feed every now and then. You're like, oh, no, nah, he has to be trolling. <laughs> but then when I walked in here and I see him working on it every day, it's kind of like, well, I mean, that's the shot we're looking for. Five seconds on the shot clock, well, I get, go get to it. So. Have you tried it? Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> that's a ticket to the bench for me. So. <laughs> I'm cool. even practicing. Yeah, no, nah, I'm cool. I'm going to stay away from that one. What's an aspect maybe of your offensive game just so far that you feel more comfortable going to just 20 games in? Oh, well, I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm here to make shots, and, you know, it's been wishy-washy, uh, inconsistent at times, and, you know, I'm just trying to find my foot in it at all. So just being able to be more of a, uh, a playmaker if I can, you know, coming off handoffs, uh, playing with Nikola in two-man games, pocket passes, things like that, that kind of gets me going in my whole uh, offensive flow and gets me coming up on that end. Then I can start showcasing more, you know, floaters, pull-ups, get into the cup, and then everything kind of over there. Is it tough to not push too much when you only have limited opportunities to do that? Uh, yeah, but I mean, we're also like-minded. We just want to win games here. So, you know, just being bought into the system. Uh, I mean, everybody in this locker room is, is looking at one thing, and, that, and that's win another championship, you know. So um, my job is to come in, bring energy, shoot shots if they're there, and that's it, you know. Be a relief guy for those guys right now, those, those main five. So that's my job, and I'm, I'm going to live up to it. Everybody says it's really easy to play with Nikola Jokic, but it seems like you've picked it up very quickly. Is it things that you've watched and then you've implemented, or how would you describe your guys' chemistry and how you know what to do with him? Uh, I mean, get him the ball is, is number one, and, and the defense is so focused on what he got going on that uh, kind of opens up games and, and driving lanes. You know, there was a play down in New Orleans. I threw it up to him, and he instantly nodded his head, come back off this handoff, wide open layup. 
And then, you know, in San Antonio games, there's a lot of two-man game pick, uh, pocket passes, you know, getting him to his floater. And then that kind of just opened everything up. So, yeah, it, it's really easy, especially as a shooter, you know, a movement shooter. It, it's super fun. Thank you. Thank you.